They go to work every day with their partners, never complain or really ask for much. Yeah, we're talking about canine first responders. They serve, protect, and put themselves in harm's way as part of a job. And one charitable organization believes these heroes should be taken care of long after their service ends. Yeah, Maureen Kyle has this story. This is a dog that went to work with me every day, probably saved my life more times than I can count. Spencer Gale speaks not just for himself, but countless other first responders who call a canine a partner. For six years, Arco, a Dutch and German Shepherd mix, was his. We were together more than probably with my family if I went back and looked at the hours. Um, so we, we have an incredible bond together. Um, he's done more for me than I could ever thank him for. Canines work and live with their human partners. Their food and vet bills are covered as part of their job. But when the dogs retire, as Arco did two years ago, that financial support often goes away. When you're talking, we were together more than probably with my family if I went back and looked at the hours. Um, so we, we have an incredible bond together. Um, he's done more for me than I could ever thank him for. A work dog, a police dog that's in a car for six years, 12 hour shifts, you know, uh, there's a lot of wear and tear that goes on a dog. Mentor-based Veterans and First Responders Foundation believes no law enforcement or military canine handlers should have to part with their retired animals because they cannot afford to pay for care. So, founder Dave Knott started Howling Heroes, a charitable branch of the VFR Foundation. We actually have a medical policy that they will have as long as they live and it gives them uh, full medical coverage. Office visits, medicine, rehabilitation, and even end-of-life services are covered. In just a few months, Howling Heroes has honored 10 retired first responder dogs with the Canine Guardian Award. Father of three, Spencer Gale, is grateful Arco is one of them. Okay, if Arco needs surgery, you know, where do we get the money from? Howling Heroes and the VFR Foundation have solved that problem for my family. Howling Heroes is in the process of selecting the next award recipients. Not says the 501c3 will be there to help as long as it's needed. I would hope one day that we don't have to do this, that as a country, we should be giving these dogs this automatically, just like any person. Maureen Kyle, 3 News. Well, Spencer Gale, uh, after Arca retired, excuse me, Spencer Gale moved into the Detectives Bureau, so he's not actually paired with a canine partner these days. But he says Arco still practices his skills and is in really great shape for his age. Yeah, Howling Heroes relies on charitable support, and you can learn more about it and the Veterans and First Responders Foundation in our Ready Pet Go section on WKYC.com. Pretty cool story. Yeah, I love that. And it's such a great point. I mean, you don't often think about what happens to these dogs after they've right. done their duty and yeah. the bonds they form with their handlers, as we know, is so strong. So it's wonderful that someone's looking out for them. Yeah, well, and you feel like they've earned it. Absolutely. So, okay. Absolutely.